Loop community. My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and today we're gonna show you how you can change the key and tempo of your tracks inside of Logic. By the end of this session, you're gonna understand flex uh, to change tempo, and you're gonna understand how you can change pitch using the region inspector. So let's get after it. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in all of these tracks again, and remember, when you drag in multiple tracks at the same time, Logic's gonna skip any analysis uh, that comes with dragging in a group of tracks at the same time. So if we want to make sure that our tracks obey um, our tempo changes, we do need to flex each of these tracks individually. And in order to flex these tracks, we're gonna go ahead and turn on flex view. So up here at the top, I've got this little flex icon over here. And if I turn that on, it'll turn on flex view for all of the different tracks. I wanna make sure that we use the right type of flex for different tracks. There's different algorithms and different ways that Logic is gonna interpret all of these files. So let me start by grouping it with my most rhythmic stuff up front. So I'm gonna drag drums up to the top and I'm gonna drag percussion up to the top. This is only a visual way to stay organized. You don't have to do this, but I enjoy doing it this way. And what we're gonna do is that um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change this flex from monophonic to rhythmic. So these are drums and when I turn that on, Logic's gonna go ahead and begin to flex that. Same with percussion, that's a rhythmic uh, option. Uh, and then we've got our different sessions like uh, acoustic uh, guitars. That's a polyphonic uh, option. Some of these are automatic, so it'll just go ahead and change it. Bass, polyphonic, I'll switch that to monophonic. Uh, electric guitars. I'm gonna use uh, slicing for guitars just because slicing looks at every transient and kind of slices from there. And sometimes with more complex rhythmic uh, items or even sometimes really ambient uh, options, slicing is usually a better uh, option. And then with synth, that's a polyphonic uh, instrument. So I'll slice that. Great. And so that means that now if we change uh, the global tempo up here at the top, we can change this to 132. They'll all play at that exact same tempo. The song's originally at 114. So I'll set it to 114 uh, and kind of change it that way. Great. Now, the other benefit of flexing your tracks is that when you flex your tracks, you can actually also uh, change the pitch of these tracks without altering kind of the length of the track. And so in order to do, to do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open up the inspector for these tracks. So if I click on a track and go to where it says I up here in the toolbar for the inspector, that's gonna open up the track inspector. And uh, the thing that I really want to look at here, I don't really need to see this track inspector, even though you can kind of see that what I've done in the flex um, options here in the track also are reflected right here in the track uh, inspector. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. And I really want to look at the region inspector because in here, this is where we go to actually change the key of our songs. Um, now, a couple things to note about changing keys and songs. Um, the distance between two notes are called intervals. And so when we want to go ahead and start moving uh, songs up or down, we're thinking of intervals of one. So this song is currently an E. And if I wanted to play it in the key of D, for example, I'm actually going to want to go down two intervals. So from E to E flat to D. And in order to do that, now that I've selected all of them, and again, you can click and drag over these or you can shift click uh, your files to select more than one file at a time. Um, if I want to move these down two half steps right here in the region inspector where it says transpose, I'm just going to click and drag down the amount of intervals that I want to go. So if I want to play this song in D instead of E, then I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that I've done that, let's hear what that sounds like. Great. If I wanted to go in the opposite direction, so say I wanted to play this in the key of F sharp, maybe I've got a different vocalist leading it. Same thing, while they're all selected, I can just drag up two, and now I'm playing this song in the key of F sharp. Awesome. So that's how we change key and tempo inside of Logic. 